My name is Robert Herrick. I am a, a research professor at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and I am a planetary geoscientist that uh, specializes in all things Venus. The new paper is about volcanism on Venus, and we went back and looked at Magellan data from 30 years ago and found a chain in a volcanic vent over an eight month period. And that indicates that uh, an active lava flow occurred on Venus during the Magellan mission. At the time that I started the search, I was uh, I'm involved with a couple of uh, NASA funded Venus missions and at the time they were finalists for flight selection and we had in the plans for those missions looking for volcanic activity on the surface and so I thought it would enhance our chances if we could actually demonstrate that something changed during the Magellan mission and that's what caused me to start the search. What we found is they, uh, on top of the largest volcano on the planet, that seemed like the most likely place to find change. Uh, right off of the, on a volcanic construct that's just north of the main summit of Mott Mons on Venus, we found a vent that's um, roughly a mile and a half across that appears to have expanded and been partially filled between uh, images taken eight months apart. Well, we have two uh, Venus missions that are uh, involving NASA that are orbital missions planned for the next decade. There's the Veritas mission, which is NASA run, and then there's the Envision mission, which is ESA, European Space Agency run, but with uh, uh, radar being contributed by NASA. And both of those missions should be able to image this area and other areas with volcanic activity at much better resolution and give us a much more complete picture of what uh, is currently going on on the surface. And now we know that it will actually see activity uh, during the, those missions.